Okay, let's talk about GD Mathematics. So if you're watching this video, I assume you are preparing for the GED, and that's excellent um, as, uh, you know, if you pass a GED, clearly you have strength in your education, which is going to open up more opportunities for you. So just by virtue of you, you know, watching this video, um, that is a good thing. However, you know, watching a video like this will help you, but uh, prepare for the GED, but you really want to have more of a formal uh, game plan uh, to prepare for the GED. And I'm going to go ahead and speak to that here in a moment. But what we're going to do in this particular video is just look at the uh, topic of triangles. We're going to look at one basic little problem when it comes to triangles. So if you're fully prepared right now for the GED, this should be pretty easy stuff. But um, we'll get to that in a second. But let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. been teaching many, many years. And over the uh, several years, I've been, uh, created many online math courses to include a GD math uh, test prep course. Um, it's probably one of my most successful courses that I've constructed. Well, it's one of the ones I've had um, out for the longest period of time. Let me just say that much. I've had Thousands of people go through this and, and and be very, very successful. So if you are new to my YouTube channel uh, and my videos, I can just tell you right now, irrespective of your, your age or how many years you've been out of high school or your current math level, that you can pass the GED math section. Um, now, probably, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is factual, what I'm going to say, is the number one reason people do not get their GED is because they struggle with the math, okay? It's probably the, that, that one topic that holds people back the most, and I've heard it several, several times over the years, hey, I've passed everything else but math. So if that's you, you can pass the math, but you're going to have to get, you know, pretty serious about your, your math, you know, uh, preparation and your commitment. Because years and years ago, um, you know, the GED was kind of, they had a stereotype, I would say, people thought of the GED as, oh, it didn't get, have as, I don't want to say as much respect, but people kind of like, oh, you have your GED or whatever, and uh, they, didn't, they didn't think it was too difficult to get your GED. I would classify it, I believe the GED was definitely easier, but there was changes in 2013, 2014, um, one of those years where it became, uh, they changed the the standards, if you will. So now, you know, to get your GED today, you really do need to know, you know, high school level mathematics. So really, we're talking about um, algebra and geometry. So you know, there's kind of no getting over and whatnot, meaning that <laughs> you're going to have to, you're going to have to learn this stuff. So um, again, if you've been out of school 30 years, you can relearn this stuff. Even if you don't remember the first thing about math, you can build your math skills up and pass the GED math section, but it's going to take time and it's going to take commitment again. Okay. But, uh, you know, if you're just saying, Oh, I'm looking for a shortcut. I don't want to spend the time. I just looking for, you know, a couple, but like uh, a weekend crash course so I can pass the GED math. I could just tell you that you're probably gonna be wasting your time. Okay. That's not the way to approach, you know, uh, passing, uh, the GED. Okay. Math section. So you got to take it serious and the way to do that is just start building your math skills up one step at a time and follow the guidance of a, of a math teacher with a strong uh, program. That's probably your best bet. But let's go ahead and work on increasing your score by checking out um, a basic uh, problem on triangles. So let's go ahead and go down here. And let's just draw a little triangle like so. All right. And... So I'm going to have a uh, basically a couple questions for you, okay? Now, in a triangle, obviously we have three angles, right? We have an angle here, we have an angle here, and we have an angle here. Now, one of the things you have to understand about triangles, if you're going to be able to deal with triangle problems, is you need to know, you know some basic things about triangles, right? Obviously, this is a triangle. I'm sure you know what that is. And you, you can see that there are three angles. So my question to you is, how, uh, what's the sum total of this angle plus this angle plus this angle? Okay. What is the sum? In other words, if I added up this angle and this angle and this angle, what is the answer? All right. 
uh, let's just kind of use some variables, x, y, and z. If I said, what's x plus y plus z, how many degrees total is that? So hopefully, all of you are like, oh, I know that. It's 180 degrees, and you would be correct, okay? So uh, one of the most fundamental things you need to know about triangles is that the, uh, and this is any triangle, that the sum total, okay, of all three angles of a triangle, all right, you add them all up, it's going always, it's always going to be 180 degrees, okay? So with that being said, you can solve all kinds of cool problems. So let me go ahead and erase this, and let's do, uh, let's do a problem here. So actually, let me make this a little bit different of a triangle. Uh, let's say uh, something like this. Okay, so let's say I say this angle right here is 100 degrees, and this angle right here is, let's say, uh, 40 degrees, okay? So I said, uh, or a question could come at you like, okay, what is the measure of angle X? So if I have a little variable down there, what would it be? Okay, well, you'd have to go ahead again and use what you know about triangles. Okay, this angle plus this angle plus this angle is always going to be 180 degrees. Okay, so we can kind of express that as a basic equation. So 100 degrees, okay, plus 40 degrees plus x is going to be 180 degrees. I'm just not going to write the little degree notation up there. But that's uh, the main ideas. Now, this is the more this is the most technically correct algebraic way to approach this problem. Okay, we don't want to write a nice equation, but you could still kind of reason away through this. You'd be like, okay, this and this, this is 140 degrees, and I know that all three of these guys is going to be 180 degrees. So if I subtracted the 140 from the 180, it would be 40 degrees. Okay and you would be correct. But again, you could write an equation like this. So you get 100 plus 40 would be 140 plus x is equal to 180 degrees. Then you just subtract 140 from both sides of the equation, and you would have x is equal to 40 degrees. So that's the way you would be able to solve this. And this is really, really basic, but I'm starting off with something like this because for some of you out there, you may not even know that the sum total of uh, the angles of a uh, triangle, okay, is 180 degrees. So another figure, um, just kind of deviate real quick, that you need to know about is something like this, a four-sided polygon. So these are called polygons, these basic shapes and geometry. So a four-sided polygon could be something like that. It could be a rectangle, okay? So let me ask you this. I have an angle here, an angle here, an angle here, an angle here, okay? What would be the sum total of this angle, this angle, this angle, or this angle, or this angle, this angle, this angle, or this angle? Okay, four-sided polygon, okay, like a rectangle. What is the sum total of all four angles? Well, these are basic facts that you need to know in geometry, but the answer is... 360 degrees, 360 degrees, and a, a lot of problems that you might see are very similar in the nature of this real basic problem like so, and it can get more complicated um, for sure, but, you know, again, uh, you want to start with the basics, okay? So if you didn't know much about triangles, okay, uh, this little video here hopefully kind of, uh, you know, refreshed your memory but this is the stuff this is i would classify this as very very basic level um understanding of geometry it's definitely not going to suffice if you're fully uh to be fully prepared for the ged okay you really have to do a lot of studying so let's go ahead and wrap up this video now again um, i'm going to leave the link to my ged math uh, prep uh, course in the description of this video extremely extremely comprehensive it's going to really teach you you know, basic math, and we're even talking about, you know, your fractions and all that stuff, and just build your skill set up, algebra, geometry, uh, and everything else. So uh, that's the way to do it. If you're going to learn, if you're going to, you know, uh, improve your education, get your GED, 
uh, and move on to bigger and better things, make the commitment and, and actually learn the material. Okay. Don't you don't cheat yourself out of like, I just want to do just enough to pass because you know, that strategy is going to frustrate you because guess what's going to happen. You're going to get score after score. Let's, uh, and it's just going to be right here is the passing score, and you're like, I just want to get just enough to pass. Here is passing, okay? Here is failing, okay? And with people who, who just want to do barely enough just to pass to get over this finish line, guess where they always uh, score? Right here, right underneath. Oh, man, I missed it by a couple points. Oh, man, it's so frustrating. Every time I take the test, I just barely miss it by a few points. And... How do they prepare for the next time? They do the same thing. <laughs> they don't want to do the hard work. When you do the hard work, guess what? You're not only gonna you're not only gonna pass, you're gonna excel. Okay, and and you can keep in your back pocket a, a good solid math uh, education that you can build upon. Whether you want to uh, move on and take um, uh, go off to college or whatnot, that's the key. Okay, so invest in yourself. That's the really the uh, right way to go. Uh, but anyways, uh, on my channel right now, my YouTube channel, I already have several uh, hundred uh, videos that can help you prepare for the GED. So hopefully you check that out and consider subscribing as I'm posting new stuff all the time. If you like the video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up. And leave me some feedback. Um, uh, obviously, you are preparing for the GED. Are you considering other tests? In some states, uh, you have that option to take the high set or task. All depends on what your state and or the GED. Not all states. It all depends on what state you're you're in. But effectively, there. Um, if you do have the option to take the high set or task, in terms of the math, okay, or the GED, the math is pretty much the in terms of the standards, okay, or what you're going to need to know. Pretty much the same. They're just different. The tests are different in terms of how much they um, cost and the format, et cetera. But basically it's the same kind of deal, but let me some feedback. How long have you been out of school? You know, did you do well math? Did you struggle, uh, you know, with math, you know, um, are you afraid of the GED? Are you excited about it? Any feedback is good feedback, but I do want to um, just stress again, your mindset. Okay. And the way you prepare is going to be everything in terms of your success on the GED. And, then, uh, again, if you've been out of school for 30 years, I've had people in their late 60s, um, even their 70s, <laughs> having to have to go back and 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 relearn math. And guess what? People who who look back and they were like really struggled with math, I would say 80, 90 percent of the time, as an adult, you know, uh, you're going to be way better at learning math than you were as a student. So forget the past. Don't if if it wasn't you know if you didn't have a good experience in high school or, or in school and you're just like, oh, I was terrible, forget that because you're a different person as an adult, okay? You're, you're focused, you're more motivated, et cetera, and you will, you will learn math much, much better, but you do have to start kind of from the beginning to build yourself up. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best uh, on the GED. Thank you for your time and have a great day.